Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard the Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, thank you. If you've come back, thank you. A uh, quick shout out to two chicken heads. Uh, we see you, but I'm always busy, so I cannot converse with you. So we appreciate you coming in and uh, chatting it up. But uh, I'm too busy to chat. Catch me offline. Uh, don't forget, you can catch me offline or us offline. Twitter, uh, Gmail, both of those are M Hobo Inc. Uh, you can uh, give us a shout out in Discord or just shoot the shit there. Uh, boy, I'm really off tonight. Uh, we also <laughs> we also have our merch shop. It's down below if you want to go get some cool shit. I'm not wearing any. My phone's in my I pocket, am. so you can't hey. say. Well, there you go. Coffee shirt and. He doesn't have boobs, so no, no it's help, not but. like Mardi Gras. Darn it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but hey, our viewers. that's right. If you're in the market for some dice and who isn't, uh, go on over to Twitter and uh, find at Pirate Dog Dice. Give them a shout out. Uh, see if they've got time to make it. Uh, David's going to order something, so you might be second or third in line. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like raging success. Uh, go on over to oddfishgames.com for some uh, sweet stuff. Adventure scents. Over 60 different scents uh, over there. Well, I got a, I, here. That's horrible. I got an idea. Adventure okay. scents totally has to do it like Jelly Bellies or Birdie Butts. Uh, oh. All of them are flavored deep. The, the packets are blind. There's nothing in it. What you see is what you get. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, I could always buy a bunch of them and then take the stickers off. That's true. Yeah. Squirm. Yeah. <laughs> Just make them all putrid sewers. Just <laughs> exactly. Uh, we also have something uh, called MurderHoboCon.com uh, coming up in February, folks. So if you're looking for a good time where you don't have to wear a mask and you don't have to go outside and you can sit around in your underwear, PJs, or in the raw, uh, as long as you keep that camera pointed up, MurderHoboCon.com. Still Drink accepting your own liquor. Event. That's right. Drink your own liquor. Go to your own bathroom. You know, privacy. Not yeah. not a big issue. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's right. It's a two day con this time around. Uh, we've already made bank, so we're in the black. So Oceana.org will be getting a check at the end. Remember, uh, we don't keep any of the bucks. Uh, once we pay the overhead, which is done, everything else goes to the charity du jour, and that one is Oceana.org to save our oceans. So go over to MurderHoboCon.com, take a look at it, and then you can go on over to Tabletop Events to go ahead and sign up. Uh, it's going to be a good time, period, end of story. Uh, okay, that being said, uh, we are here on Thursday night for Cacophony. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you think I could do a better job than them. I should try that. Uh, <laughs> we'll start with David. David, who are you and who do you play? Hi, I'm David, and I you can find me on Twitterverse as uh, Dean Devious on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so I'm here on the Cacophony Show, uh, our ever other Thursday show, and I'm also part of the Calamity campaign, which is like every other Saturday. We have an A side and we have a B side. A side, I play Ingbe. B side, I play Crow. And uh, I'm a regular on BTR, so, you know, uh, 60 to 70% of the time you can find me there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, sometimes I do a one-shot. Uh, the one-shots are fun, so, I mean, I think we're still looking for people, so, you know. We need that one some this Saturday. fresh yeah. blood. Oh, yeah, we need flesh blood. New meat, <laughs> fresh <laughs> meat. Yep. Uh, uh, that's David. Carrie, Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? Uh, my name's Carrie, and I play Camille, a wizard necromancer in Cacophony. And then on the B side of Cred, I play Crendor Sue, a barbarian. Calamity. Cred, oh, Cred, Cred's that <laughs> shitty show on That's there. right. The crappy one. Okay. That's right. Sorry, Calamity. I get them confused with the C's. <clears throat> um, and I make dice, and I usually run the the show and and hang out with the cat let the dogs out blah blah very nice folks this is uh the continuing saga of cacophony even though they haven't been to these cacophony are the days of our lives months, months i tell you these guys have been everywhere but cacophony but they grew up there 
and that's where they uh, busted their chops. Currently, they are in Nathian, the Gnomish capital down south. Nice to arid temperature land. Uh, and uh, whew, where do we start? They've been here almost a month. They're trying to figure out why their dear friend and confidant, Mortimer J. Sneed, uh, professor from the Grand Academy, is suffering from time travel sickness. Uh, big clue, he, he was doing too much time travel. These guys have done it twice uh and each time it was fun but mortimer is under duress uh, well accidental yes but uh these guys uh have borrowed uh his time travel amulet uh and they're trying to desperately seeking susan find an answer to his illness unfortunately Mortimer has escaped from the Grand Academy, and he is somewhere in Nathian. Uh, in spite of all their efforts, they have not yet found the tall human. Uh, they've found uh, assassins. They've found Aarakocra. They've found robbers. They've exploded a balloon. They nearly died from being uh, exposed to a poisonous balloon. Uh, they, they got a lot of shit going on here. We were they were imprisoned even, wrongly. They were imprisoned wrongly. They helped solve the problem with the mechanized police force. Uh, I, what haven't they done? Why I mean, are we not are, the heroes of the city? You are. You got free food at the Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's yeah. true. With Antonio Scarpacci. You found a new restaurant called Cooper's. Uh, mm-hmm. You like the Cabbage Patch. Uh, you got the Butt Hut. I mean, you got... You guys have experienced but, everything uh, here. Uh, <laughs> why aren't you guys ninth level? That's right, because your DM's a stingy bastard. But yes, anyway. After yes, I killed yes. that raven, fuck you. <laughs> anyway, uh, these guys last time. Uh, uh, sneaky all... boy. How am I doing now? Better? There you go. Yeah, there you okay. are. I don't, it's the headset. Uh, uh, it's the metal plate in my head. Quick coffee. <laughs> uh, that too. The uh, VA only gives you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Cousin Eddie. So uh, <laughs> last time these guys figured out a great plan. Uh, they've decided that they, knowing Mortimer's here, are going to put out an advertisement for a time travel expert to expound on it, knowing that Mortimer uh with supreme arrogance will likely go ahead and apply for that job uh they went to the local government institution and found the uh, public uh, address system also known as screamers aka town criers and they've hired a dozen of them to go out today uh scream out their message and then tomorrow they will meet with them uh meet with the prospective uh expounders uh so th- this this is actually a pretty clever idea so I- i'm pretty happy with them and that is camille <laughs> wow uh, i think i got it that time uh so here we are uh you guys have had dinner you've gone to bed uh and there is a knock on your door just as you guys are preparing for nighty night <sighs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Who's going to answer the door, Camille? You I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I grab my, you I say, you I grab grab my your... quarter staff and I open it. <laughs> it is your old friend Aerosmith, pilot of the hot air balloon, uh, and his beloved Suki, oh. who is now sporting some jewelry. Oh, uh, he wanted to let you guys know. Uh, you know, it's been great. Uh, me and the new missus uh, have gotten hitched, and we're going out on our honeymoon, so we're leaving town tomorrow. Uh, just just wanted to let you know. We didn't want you to think we were ditching on you, uh, but we eloped, and uh, we're headed out tomorrow, and uh, we're, we're taking uh, my Uncle Zeppelin with us because he wants... On your honeymoon? Ugh. It's not going to stop us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. They, they've been honeymooning ever since uh, they've met, for yes. God's sake. Yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I just wanted to say best of luck if I never see you folks again. Uh, we're headed up to Sedalis. Uh 
uncle has never seen the great ravine so he wants to go see it okay well, well congratulations and uh yeah and tell have fun him on your to honeymoon. invest in some earplugs will do <laughs> I, I i i've never gotten high enough to where that bothered me <laughs> oh wow so yeah, yeah. We went so we, we 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 say goodbye to Aerosmith and Suki as well as uh, Zeppelin. So yeah, you know, gonna miss them. You're, you're gonna miss three people there. Yeah, well, we won't have to listen to them through the walls anymore. Eh, one more night. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Constitution rules as they celebrate their. Oh, oh come on! Like, Ooh, come on! That's a decent yeah. roll. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 19. Ah, oh, God damn it. 12. 12? Yeah. Uh, Camille, you were quite exhausted in the rampaging banging of the headboard on the other side of the wall. Folks, these guys are at uh, the inn and uh, Aerosmith and Suki have the room directly behind them. Uh, what can I say, David? <laughs> uh, uh, but, yeah. <laughs> you're screwed. Uh, they are very happy to be married. Uh, morning dawns anew. Uh, each of you, D12. Let's see who wakes up first. Seven. Uh, eight. Uh, Zadar, having <laughs> not slept very much, Big old bags underneath his, her eyes. Her eyes. <laughs> uh, bloodshot, not looking so great. Uh, you guys can see the sunlight peeking in through the uh, window drapes. What were they blankets. called? Window blankets. Window uh, blankets huh? Yeah. If you if you haven't seen the heat, you got to see the heat. Uh, the window blankets. So you know it's morning, uh, and of course you are facing east. So yeah, it's bright. That it is. <laughs> what you want to do? I need coffee. Yeah, <clears throat> food, coffee. Yeah. Fair enough. You guys go outside. Gorgeous day. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous day. This is the rainy season in Nathian, folks. Uh, so these rare days are something special. The plaza outside bustling with activity, and you can already hear one of the screamers just yelling his guts out about the message that Zadar had posted uh, to be replicated. So at least one of the 12 is out doing his job early on. Uh, a lot of people moving around. Uh, you're going to get a lot of good hits, uh, a lot of Facebook likes awesome. uh, here. Uh, and as you guys wander down, are we going to the Cabbage Patch or where are we going? Oh, I left uh, our pick since he had such a shitty night. Uh, the Cabbage Patch, they fixed the copy, and it was really good last time, right? It, it was. Okay, yeah, we'll see our friend. I forgot what his name is. Gus Gustavo. Gustavo, yes. Gustavo. Frank. Yes, and, and he had Brie for us. <laughs> Brad and he all did that. So. You, you are good friends. You are good friends. You are well taken care of here. I mean, you got free meals coming out the ass. Mm -hmm. You guys oh, are yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> as you trudge along, you hear, goodbye, my friends. Look up, and a very familiar hot air balloon is moving over Hatched. the side. So <laughs> no, duct tape. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, Zeppelin <laughs> Smith is waving down to the crowd. Yeah. Uh, hail uh, Satan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the going by they are headed west northwest so maybe they'll find Gregory Peck uh, but they are sailing away goodbye goodbye my friends goodbye. Like screwing up again oh man I don't know what this thing is. there you go okay uh, I think I just have to have it on the right setting anyway uh, as you get to the cabbage patch uh, you meet the minotaur captain who brought you here uh, and he asks you how it how goes it. He saw the monks left a few days ago, so that must be good. 
I greet him and ask him if I can buy him a coffee and a brie. Already has it. Uh, he, he's got that. He's got a small porter. You may remember Zap Rig, mm -hmm. uh, the gnome porter. Uh, he is carrying a large box of additional items. Uh, and the captain is going to go ahead and feed his crew. He points out that uh, time is short, my friends. We must leave. Uh, do you need to go anywhere? Um, we sail back north. Well, we can't leave yet, so unfortunately not. We're, we're trying to speed things up, so... <laughs> Uh, he's, he starts to talk, uh, reminiscing, you know, asking you how your troubles have been. Give me uh, perception checks. Uh, 16. Uh, perception, it is, yeah, it's a big <laughs> being 14. Uh, Zadar, as you go ahead and talk to the captain and regale him with tales, Camille, you notice that Zap Rig is <laughs> straining under the weight of uh, several coffees and several Danish for the Minotaurs. I say, can I help you with that? No, this is my job. Well, I mean, <laughs> seriously, I, I mean, I, I can help. Well, do you guys want to help him carry it to the boat? Sure. Uh, sure. Is that going to make us late for our interviews? Did we set a time? Well, for interviews, the interviews are tomorrow. tomorrow. Interviews are tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll help I them. Say, let's let's see them off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you head back from whence you came, you notice on the bridge, uh, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Uh, this guy's got a bell. Uh, this guy's this guy's heavy duty. Uh, he is also preaching what. Zadar had written down so clearly different guy that's two two out of twelve that you know so far so good it's it's early morning here you walk across the busy plaza uh odd even even uh Zadar you get stopped uh by an individual selling the finest in tunics tunics okay mm -hmm. uh yeah I'll I'll take a look I don't the... think your boobs will fit in that Insight Probably check. <laughs> uh, oh fuck! <laughs> That's not good. Nice. Uh, Nineteen two. <laughs> plus. Wait, two. So twenty-one. Uh, as Camille goes ahead and shouts jackass instructions to you, mm -hmm. Zidar, you notice that she is correct. These are all gnome-sized tunics right. and would barely be uh, boobage covering for you. Right. Right. Folks, if you haven't seen this before, Zadar is a changeling, and he looks a lot like, is it Pam Anderson? Uh, Jessica be, Rabbit. Jessica That's Rabbit. That's Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, so. a, a red-haired Jessica That's Rabbit. That's right. Hence yeah. the boob comments. Uh, mm -hmm. So you might be able to use it as a scarf. Uh, Camille, <laughs> are you, are you going to continue on with Zap and the Minotaur Captain? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Zidar, uh, this salesman, uh, showing you a variety of colors and a variety of textures, points out this one is called Ilk. It's made by small bugs. Oh, wow. That is quite lovely. And it, it is very nice. I mean, you, you're you kind of smitten with it. The, oh, okay. <laughs> smitten with it. All right. Uh, how much do they, do they want for it? Uh, 15 gold pieces, because this is fine Ooh. fabric. Okay. Uh, is is it like I'm trying to think? Do I know like Camille's favorite color? Because I'll get it for her. <laughs> she can have it. You've known her for sorry. two years now, so I would yeah. assume. So. It's black. Is it black? Let me roll on that. <laughs> it is black. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Very good. The monetary is exchanged, uh, and right over your ear. Uh, a squat gnome screams, hey, hey, have you heard? Do you know time travel? Have you been <laughs> to a different time zone? Would you like to go ahead and preach about it? And he, he gives the entire litany, wow. but he's screaming it at you. Hence the name Screamers. Uh, this is the third uh, one. So there's at least two working in this district. And he's screaming directly at you. I oh, mean, yeah. right in your face. His I'm like, keep up the good work, and I flip on my gold pieces. Like, nice. here you come in. Please move uh, over that way a little. Yeah. D12 against me. Okay. 
Six. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, eight. Eight. Uh, he does get to the gold piece before the street urchins do. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Camille, you're walking with uh, Zap uh, and the Minotaur. The Minotaur captain is still blah, 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 blah. You know, it's, I still think I should have crushed the heads of those monks. Those guys are just jackasses, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's Harold. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> it's an old man bitching about Democrats or something. Um, and you, you guys make it to uh, the dock area. It, this thing is busy. It is real busy. Uh, you can see the vessel that you came in on coming back because remember it docked unloaded and had to move out into the bay this place is a hive hive of activity uh and you wait patiently porters are zipping around left to right a few minutes later zadar arrives uh zadar give me an investigation check let's see if you find them okay uh yes investigation uh uh, 25, actually. <laughs> yep. uh, it, it's easy to spot the Minotaur. I mean, hell, you're in Gnome City, for God's sake. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. You guys noticed your vessel, and I can't remember what the vessel was that came in. Uh, Is comes in. Daphne still on it? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there are chunks of her everywhere on that ship. Uh, oh. But... Uh, it's time to say goodbye to the captain. The captain had a cool name, didn't he? Yeah, I think it was Del Toro or something like that. Yes, yeah, Captain Del Toro, you're correct. Uh, so uh, it is time to say goodbye to yet another friend. Tap your thing. How's that? That's that is good. <laughs> well, uh, you know. I throw myself at his knee and give it a hug. <laughs> I say it was good to meet you. I hope we run into each other again. Uh, he accepts your hug gratuitously. <laughs> um, that's it. He gets on. Zap, struggling with a big box of stuff, uh, is following along behind him. The Minotaur gets to the gangplank, reaches behind him, and puts Zap on the gangplank so that he doesn't fall in. Nice. <laughs> nice. The <laughs> captain. Waves goodbye, uh, and it looks like the ship is not going to be in port very long. So oh. long, farewell, I'll be here saying goodnight. Oh, it's the Von Traps. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to be able to expedite this uh, anytime to catch the last boat out of Nathan. So, so yeah. Well, there are more ships coming in. There's more out in the bay. So and yeah. there's zeppelins, <laughs> I assume. Right. Yeah, that's true. There's, there's yeah. zeppelins. Odd even. Three. Uh, Camille, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Hello? Who is that? There, it is a gnome. Female. You looking for some easy money? Do I look like I'm looking for easy money? Easy money. Hmm. All you gotta do is claim to be a specialist in time travel. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, there's a group of guys that are looking for a time travel expert to give a symposium. Okay. I, I, I think you'd be perfect for that job. And why do you think that? Uh, because you look like you got city miles on you. Wow. <laughs> really? Okay. This, this gnome's charisma is six. So, yeah. not very charming, not very good, but at least it's not screaming in your ear. Yeah, yeah. but she's saying yeah. I look like an old leather bag. So, I'll say. You've been through hell. You're eighth level. Hey. <laughs> You got poisoned by a green dragon hide. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah. Thanks, We're going to have to take a long rest. But yeah. <laughs> like somewhere tropical, you know, <laughs> with, you know, drinks with umbrellas and kind of things like that, which I, I think we've discovered, right? <laughs> you have been there before, so. Yeah. Uh, she sees that you are not interested, goes down to the next pier. Hey. Hey. 
so you, you guys are actively getting your money's worth. Okay. Two of you have been contacted. You've witnessed two others. I mean, the uh, truth in advertising here, uh, these screamers are doing their job and they are out full force. Uh, you guys are on the docks. Uh, you have literally anywhere you want to go uh, because this is a free day for you. Ah. Free day. Free day. Sorry. You guys can <clears throat> fuck around. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Nobody cares, but you're <laughs> over here. Oh, oh, I, uh, yeah, I hand, I hand the bun, the, the, the package over to, uh, to me and say, look, I bought you a little black number. It's just like, you've got the LBD little black dress now. Oh, that's just awesome. <laughs> I and feel this material. Oh. It's called, oh God, look at that. That feels so oh. good. Yeah. If they only if have I my wear size. this, I'll get Brock hard jaws attention. <laughs> Chances are you probably like. Nice. Well, I tuck it in my pouch. Yeah, you wear that and we do like the smoky eye makeup oh. on you and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How could Brock resist? I'm thinking you cut it and you could just become Elvira. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's short, pretty little Elvira. short Elvira. Uh, short Elvira. Like child Elvira. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's pretty low cut as it is, because I think that's what that gnome was trying to sell it to me for. Nice. <laughs> You're a Wednesday Adams kind of girl now. That's true. But yeah, you guys, you guys can go anywhere you want. Uh, let's see. Um, so the lavender is a real estate opportunity. Mm -hmm. So let's go check that out. Yeah. Yeah. We Do can you want spend this one? Wherever we're close to, I guess. There's this one across the river. You're right here. You've got a lavender there. A lavender there. That's a sand. So. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm only se I'm seeing third. There's the one by the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, down below. Uh, keep moving down. Down. Over. Over. There you go. That's a lavender. So you got one, two, three. Hmm. Well, What's the we purple got... then. Uh, oh, purple is logic. logic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, let's see. Where where is uh, Millie's place? It's the the red and blue together across from the pink. Right there. Of... Oh yeah. Okay, that's where we are. I was always looking at this the wrong way. Okay, so we're usually there. Okay, there's one basically around the corner from us. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's spend the day going to open houses. <laughs> oh, awesome. We can, there's we can steal some stuff. Yeah, there's usually uh, refreshments or. That's true. Yeah. Snacks, yeah, yeah. cookies. Right. You guys can pretend to be female lovers or spouses or whatever you want hey i can be male so that's true, <laughs> that's true. Right. uh so you're headed over to the small block mm -hmm. yep once you, once you get into this area there is a farmer's market going on uh a, a lot of goats and sheep are for sale here there's a bit of an aroma if you will <laughs> oh, uh -huh. uh, sure. but as you arrive i believe her name is century is it not oh century is in a different <laughs> different campaign uh oh yeah, yeah, yeah not 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 gonna happen that's a different campaign we can't use that tap one. your earpiece <laughs> tap 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 there there you go yeah there you go it just keeps cutting out i don't know <laughs> i'm i'm not sold now sunday didn't blink once uh okay so you head over there uh mm -hmm. and you are going to meet uh What's a good realtor name? Uh, Kathy Russell. <laughs> uh, no, I'm trying to think. What's, what's the ones around here? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, Remax. Uh, Remax. Close. Uh, you meet Zillow. Zillow. Zillow, Zillow is a uh, lady. She's wearing a 
red and blue blazer. It's hideously tacky, uh, mm-hmm. but it is the colors of the business. She is there with a plate of cookies uh, asking if you are here to see the property. Uh, why, yes, we are. <laughs> Uh, a screamer walks by just as you do and decides to stand next to a goat and is just twirling around screaming. It's kind of like a tornado siren. Oh, <laughs> God. So your discussion with Zillow is going to be constantly interrupted. Uh, ah, dive travel. Whoa, I take whoa, my whoa. staff out and I whack him in the knee. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and hit him. Uh, four. You miss him and hit the goat. Oh, the goat oh. And stampedes, uh, and it starts rampaging through the crowd. D12 against me. Uh, if you win, it will dodge the different number between us. If I win, it will hit Six. the number. Five. So it narrowly misses its owner, but takes off towards the docks. <laughs> Damn you! Uh, the owner is not happy as he gives chase. Uh, the Sorry. gnome looks around and time travelers want it! Continues <laughs> <laughs> on with his speech. Uh, Zillow, this almost never happens. Uh, this is an irregularity. Please come inside. Uh, you'll see how comfortable this uh, abode really is. This is a fine quality domicile. <laughs> <laughs> What's the public school system like around here? <laughs> oh, uh, well, the public school system is top notch. Top notch. Uh, see, the, see the tower right over there? Uh, oh, yeah. that, that is where the kids go and listen. Listen? Very well. <laughs> Hey, different times, man. Plato didn't take questions. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, and it's also near the country. Uh, a lot of open fields. Uh, you can see the lush grounds. It's very nice. What's the bathroom okay. like? Uh, the bathroom is a composter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you can tell that uh, much like Camille... This building has a few city miles on it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm getting those look of death. (laughs) Nice. nice. Yeah, long night on the couch for me. So, Uh, but yeah, this is uh, not top notch. No, Uh, no. As charming as it could be. It's very charming, very confined, rustic. Rustic. That's a good term. Yes. Homey. We have something more cosmopolitan in mind. (laughs) Oh, oh, most certainly. Most certainly. I I understand that. Uh, If you'll uh, continue south, uh, you'll find my friend uh, Max, first name Re. uh, And uh, he can help you out. There's a perfect location. Perfect. Uh, School district's not as good. Uh, Kind of in the tavern district, but much larger. Much larger. I kind of don't like his. Well, then uh, you should be fine there. Do you like drunk <laughs> vomit? <laughs> no, we don't like that. <laughs> well, maybe you won't like that, but you can certainly go there. Okay. All right. We'll check it out. The goat herder comes back. He has finally captured his goat. He's got a nice horn gash on his cheek. Uh, he is not <laughs> happy with you and gives you several expressive hand gestures oh, as man. you uh, leave the rustic home. <laughs> there's there's also a buzzing uh, a couple of small groups of people are discussing something oh okay uh did, did you want to head over to the other place uh yeah yeah are we gonna pass the buzzing crowd or whatever that's, oh, yeah. that's oh, yeah. they're, they're everywhere oh okay are we got are we able to glean anything of what they're talking about uh, how much effort are you putting into it? Uh, well, I got a pretty high perception, so I could probably catch something. I don't know. Sure, go ahead. Give it a shot. Uh, 16, 8 and 8. 
apparently the guards, the uh, automaton guards, have got a lead on what happened to them and a suspect. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe we should follow up at the Hall of Justice and uh, find out what's going on. We can do that. Okay. Right. Is that what you're going to do? Skip it? And go yeah, we'll skip it since we, we heard that. So we're on the case. Okay. Uh, the easiest way is to cut through here uh, okay. by the inn and right in behind the cabbage patch. Uh, as you do so, you find two more of the screamers screaming at each other. Uh, <laughs> these guys don't look like the brightest light bulbs in the bunch. Uh, and they are yelling. As you approach closer, one of them actually takes off the sandwich board that he's wearing, sans pants, and begins to strike the other screamer with it. Wow. A general melee or brouhaha is observed, and you hear the clanking of the autonoma automaton uh, warforged approaching yeah, uh these get the fuck out of here yeah, yeah. These, <laughs> these two gnomes are not going to be quite as helpful as the others have been but nope. there's six of them that you've spotted so that's right uh, I'm, I'm assuming you take the narrow bridge across tap tap <laughs> taking the narrow bridge across uh sure Ooh, isn't that the bad bridge? Sorry? Isn't that the bad bridge? Like the there was one that we were told to avoid, but that was avoided. That, that, that was at night, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the screamers is still there. Uh not horribly loud, but loud enough to be heard. Uh, and people are taking notice. So you can tell. Now, this is one of the original six that you found, not a new one. Uh, but, you know, he's, they're getting the word out. You know, seems to be drumming up a lot of interest. Uh, you continue forward uh, up the hill towards the library. Uh, as you're headed towards the Hall of Justice here, right here in the center spot uh, is another female gnome. Uh, she is actually singing mm. your telegraph. Uh, nice. That is quite lovely. A time traveler. Uh, I cannot sing. I will not attempt it. Yeah, uh, okay. thank you. No, so, uh, but she is singing, and she actually has a collection of people around her who are throwing coins to her. So uh, yeah. this side gig is making her some money. And drumming up more interest. So, you know, you okay. can see several of the scholars from the library. Hmm. Hmm, nice. Okay. Uh, and you make it to the Hall of Justice. No screamers at the Hall of Justice. Okay. <laughs> well, but before we ha we make it to the Hall of Justice, did I notice, did she do jazz hands? Oh, she, she is an all-around performer. Uh, she so, didn't even tap dance. So she did the jazz hands. If she does did the jazz hands, I'll, I'll, I'll throw her a gold piece. <laughs> yeah, she's making money left and right. Yeah, a, a high-end performer. Uh, okay. So you're in good shape with this one. This one might actually be able to drum up some business because it's near the library. Okay. Uh, you get to the Hall of Justice, and Colonel Clank is there after the guards let you in because, of course, the guards know you from – both sides of the law. This is where you were wrongfully imprisoned as well as exonerated. Uh, so the guards recognize you, know that there's no active warrant for you and allow you entry. Colonel Clank uh, is with two of his men uh, and they are getting ready to leave when he notices you. Well, for once, we don't have warrants. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, uh uh yeah we'll uh strike up a conversation it's just like hello colonel <laughs> my friends how are you we're doing good you seem to be doing well uh we have recovered completely we have taken the steps necessary to go ahead and thwart any additional attempts to disable us uh and we actually have found a lead uh might i inquire um since we were privy to the investigation i mean might can we help? Of assistance. Yeah. Well, the individual uh, we uh, have heard from our sources in the underground uh, that the individual goes by the name Gadget or Gadget Go or Go Gadget. Oh, we aren't right. sure 
but uh, it is a gnome, uh, and it is a highly intelligent gnome. Uh, some call him the Thousand Faces. Uh, so it's going to be difficult, but if you run into him, uh, it's said that he wears an old leather trench coat. Good to know. Hat? Okay. Uh, no hat that we are aware of. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, but, well, we'll keep an eye out. We thought you might have had, had them in custody, but they're just wanted. You have some, a person of interest. Yes, they are a person of interest suspect soon to be executed. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Hey. We aren't screwing around here in Nathian. Uh, I also got word on your friend, uh, the Sneed fellow. Oh. Uh, yes, he was actually seen in the library. Uh, we aren't real sure how he got in there. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Did anyone catch where... him? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, we received the information third hand, and by the time we arrived, uh, the Sneed fellow had already left. Uh, turns out he's a bit of a talker, is what we're hearing. Yeah. That he is. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. But hopefully that information is helpful, even though you can't go into the library. Uh, he is not currently there, but did stop by. Well, thank you for letting us know. Thank of you. course. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Uh, we must go out and seek out this Go person or this gadget person or this gadget Go Go gadget guy person. <laughs> Inspector gadget, maybe? Uh, no, uh, he died. Oh. That was, that was several years ago. That's unfortunate. A shame. Oh, uh, a yes. Shame. I believe you've met his uh, grandson, Phineas's friend, Sherlock. Oh, oh, okay. Sher Sherlock gnomes. Alrighty. Yes. Good to nice. know. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, they leave. All right. Well, that is interesting that they have a person of, of interest now. So, but it, at least it seems like their, their issues have been taken care of. So, okay. But... Okay, we got a lead on Mortimer. Um, what are our chances of being able to find Phineas? I guess if we n talk to someone at the one of the library guards or something like that, they could get a a message to Phineas. Possibly. Okay. And it's uh, starting to get towards lunchtime. Mm. Ooh. Oh, okay, perfect timing. So. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head to the library and see if we can catch Phineas and take him to Coops. Coopers. Who's uh, d 12 and against me? Uh, I'll D12 against you. 12. Oh. <laughs> Seven. The library is already let out, according to the guards, and the uh, acolytes are everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, I, hey, let's grab lunch at Cooper's. Uh, you never know. We might see him there. That's true. That's true. Uh, as you get there, uh, Camille, your turn. D12 against me. Five. Eleven. Uh, you get in just as the people ahead of you get in. So you are next in line. Look around. Uh, okay. Looking around. Uh, can you hear me? Because I'm still a little bit light. Uh, yeah, we can hear you. You notice a screamer going down, but he, he's making it sound like a riddle. Oh. Are you somebody who knows time travel? Do you know what time travel is? Have you ever time traveled? Are you a public speaker? That kind of thing. Uh, number eight. You have found wow. eight of them. Uh, and, you know, he is talking to uh, the... Uh, initiates of the library so okay. uh, you know not, hey. not bad you, you hey. might get some leads there the sun's beating down it's high noon it's hungry you guys are first in line uh a table is opened up the waitress takes you over uh it's um, unless you want to wait for a seat at the bar uh, I'll be, uh, i'm glad for a table yeah we're good for a table uh you go in everybody uh look around give me an investigation check Uh, what the hell 
Uh, that? 20, not natural. 12 mm. plus 8. And... Oh. What's 16 and 7? 23. There we go. Uh, you both notice um, Lycoris Sin, Phineas Ferb's girlfriend. She spots you guys and notices you, hails you, and comes over. She and a female friend uh, have just finished consuming their meal, and they point out that Phineas has some information for you. Oh, thank you. We were yeah. um, we were actually looking to check in with Phineas to see how he's doing. I, I'm not sure where he's at. He might be with his father today, uh, but I, I had hoped to catch him here as well, but he is not, so... Okay. Well, well you see him, could you have him come by the hotel? Most assuredly. Are you good, are you guys familiar with the screamers? Yes, yeah. we are. They, they, <laughs> are they are also looking for time travelers for <laughs> some reason. So that's odd. Uh, <laughs> you guys sit down, and uh, the waitress is very busy because it's freaking lunch. Uh, and you guys notice. Uh, her time is being occupied by a rather dapper individual behind you, a human uh, dressed in uh, loud colors. Uh, and he's instructing her on something. Uh, and, and he appears to be giving her culinary instructions. Hmm. Mario. Mario Batali. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he looks like comic book man. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Now this is this is this is a dapper, almost regal individual. Oh, okay. All right. Do we recognize him? Never seen him before in your lives. Okay. Okay. You guys want to listen in or just wait? No, I want to yeah. listen in. Yeah, we'll listen in and kind of wait. <laughs> so he's explaining one last time. What I want is for your cook to cut the loaf of bread into thirds take out the middle third and then put the poultry in between and move the two ends in okay and then apply cheese and the side on it but smoosh it all together put it on top of the plate like that Is it the okay. Earl of Sandwich? Close. It is Earl Hoagie. Earl Hoagie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> From the city of Sandwich. Wow. Nice. Nice. The hey, waitress, you had to ask. <laughs> the waitress is puzzled, but takes down his order and then asks, what would you guys like? I'll have what he's having. Yeah, we'll have what he's having. <laughs> Okay. Um, he turns around. Good choice, friends. <laughs> well, thank you. I myself am Earl Hoagie. Pleasure I to hail meet you. From, pleasure to meet you. I hail from the, the city of Sandwich to the west. Ah, uh, okay. Well, have you I, have you ever had one of these concoctions? No, we never. We have not. We have. I call not. I call it a sub. Ah, <laughs> hmm. oh, okay. Because interesting. It's, it sounds subpar, but in reality, it's anything but. I think you'll like it, my friends. Would you like to join us? Why, I would be happy to. Tell me, who are you, and what have you? What are you doing here in this fine city? <laughs> well, I am Zadar, and my lovely companion Camille. And uh, yes, we are actually here uh, seeking knowledge and uh, possibly. Uh, one of our friends might be here, so we are looking for them as well. Consider me one of your friends. You have found me. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> but he's a charming individual. Uh, he sells rings. He is a jeweler by trade. Hmm. Okay. Would you like to buy a ring? Do they do anything special? <laughs> uh, they're pretty. They are pretty. They are pretty. Do you have any garnets? I do have a garnet. May I see it? Well, that seems suspect. 
<laughs> not pulling it out of the front of his pants. Uh, clearly, he has some kind of thong that he has multiple rings on. Uh, he pulls it out. Not a thong underwear. <laughs> thong. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, was, I was thinking the same thing. I was just like, really? Uh, yeah, you want to take that garnet? <laughs> he, he pulls out a long cord with a big knot on the end of it, and there are yeah. multiple rings on there. Nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, the garnet is, has a silver setting. Oh, that's very Lovely. pretty. How much would you like for that? Oh, th this is quite expensive, my friends. It's 200 gold pieces. Oh, my. That is quite a bit. Beautiful beautiful craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is excellent. Yeah, that well, it is. perhaps another day then. As you wish. Uh, the meals show up. Uh, all three of us will D12. The low roll gets the two middles used as the the bread. <laughs> Ooh, I got 12. I got 10. I got four. Four. <laughs> well, the good news is your meal will be less filling. Okay. Right, right. Uh, Camille and uh, Earl Hoagie are going to be kind of stuffed because they got the big rounded portions. But you, you, you got the middle. Uh, Earl complains loudly uh, and asks, this is not what he ordered. He ordered what we were having, and this is not what he had. Oh my. Uh, the waitress then tries to assuage his fears and concerns and points out that the chef is not going to waste bread. Da, 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 da. Plus, she points out that it is much easier to handle. Uh, and he rebuffs her immediately and asks you if you are okay with the sandwich. So is it like the, the regular configuration of a sandwich? It's not like a sub? And all Correct. That? You just don't yeah. have the ends. You have the and, little pieces. Yeah. Right, right. You, you've got Honestly, like two pieces of white bread. That would be kind of better. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah. And, and, he, and he, he points out he'll gladly trade you. He doesn't uh, want you to not enjoy this. Uh, no, no. I think uh, this this will be fine. And in fact, if they can just cut it on a bias like that, it'd be really delicate to handle. You know, I've got the delicate fingers. And the waitress whips out a big dagger. Ah. <laughs> whack! Uh, cuts it to your liking. Uh, okay. <laughs> wipes nice. it off the sleeve. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Earl uh, er, is not happy, uh, ah. but but he waits for you to try it. And I understand his consternation, so uh, I'll, I'll try it. I was just like, despite it not being what, what <laughs> we had ordered, it is delicious, Earl. Is it? Did you roll for constitution checks? Oh, uh, oh I didn't hear you say roll for constitution checks. I, I didn't say, but you we, if you're going to eat or drink, you got to taste them. Okay, constitution? Yeah. Camille, you too. <laughs> All right. Six nine. Uh, it's no. okay, Camille. Uh, no, I rolled a 12. Do you want a 20? Yeah. Oh. 18. You both like it. Uh, okay. It's actually very good. Zadar, you find yours to be extremely portable. Uh, mm -hmm. It fits your hands nicely. Uh, you get a nice mixture of textures. Uh, and whatever the Dijon sauce was that he requested, uh actually makes the uh chicken the poultry uh a little bit tangy so uh you guys are enjoying it he's he's sitting there oh we're telling him yeah we're okay. raving about it oh very uh, good i go uh, mm, this is amazing what would you recommend to pair with this as far as beverage ale ale a good okay. ale is, good ale is a good thing um, uh, the, the waitress is starting to notice. Uh, Camille, D4. Three. Uh, three other patrons are noticing your accolades on this item, uh, and they are curious if they can also have that. Oh uh, so you guys have started a frenzy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> The waitress begins to bicker with them because they've already ordered food. 
they wish to change their order uh, and to mm-hmm. avoid creating problems. Uh, she accepts their new thing and goes to the back kitchen to tell them. Uh, yeah, once, I don't want to be her. Once uh, they arrive, once their sandwiches arrive. 11, 18, and 16. Uh, the accolades continue to pour in. There's much back slapping on uh, Earl Hoagie. Uh, like, oh, this is incredible. Where, where are you from? I am from Sandwich. We eat this all the time. I want one of them sandwiches. I want a, <laughs> I want a sandwich. Uh, so, hence the sandwich is born. How oh, nice. Congratulations. Nice. You guys didn't create history, but you were right there we when were right there right there when, when it happened. happens. <laughs> so yes. Uh unlike the grilled cheese and cheeps, uh cheeps. uh which are still whew, top of yeah. the line. Yeah, this sandwich thingy, <laughs> you aren't sure. But this thing might catch on. Yeah, Coops may have uh um... Can we patent that? Yeah. Uh, as you guys are finishing up your meal, a screamer walks in. Hey, anybody know anything about time travel? I've got an opportunity for you. The waitress is all hustling out of there. <laughs> Number nine. So nine of them. Hey, if we catch one doing rhythmic poetry. Interpretive be, dance. Uh, nice. I'll, I'll, but you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so. Just, just, just like the inaugural speech. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go. Uh, lunchtime is over. Uh, Hoagie buys your meal oh. because you guys have told him some good stories. He's very interested. He appreciates the fact that you like it. And he, he's, you know, thanks for spreading the good word here. These people are really liking it. Uh, okay. every, yeah, everybody who comes walking by is like, what the hell is that? I've never seen anything like that. This is amazing. Tell them, this was a very enjoyable <clears throat> lunch for us. Thank you for joining our table. My pleasure. You sure you don't want that ring? I would like it, but I really don't have the funds right now. I understand completely. If you folks are ever in Sandwich, stop on by. Tell them Earl sent you. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> lunch is now over. Uh, the building starting to clear out. Uh, there's some bickering in the back. Uh, waitress and cook, not real happy. Yeah, uh, I know yeah. how that goes. Uh, and uh, give me perception checks. Well, how's she doing on tips? I mean, she's doing real well on tips. Yeah. Yeah, but the chef's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, what, eight. What, what are we rolling? Perception? Perception. 18. <clears throat> Camille, you don't notice as you say your goodbyes, but uh, Zadar, you notice uh, that Coop, the owner of Coopers, uh, is in the back trying to get them calmed down uh, and then explains to the chef if you cut them in smaller slices, we'll get more out of each roll. Nice. So the birth of thin sliced uh bread is also invented at this point in time nice your, your betty history white is... still came before sliced bread that's right <laughs> you haven't met betty white yet mm. so uh you guys are Best just thing. on the cusp <laughs> cusp of history nope. <laughs> everywhere you go where do you want to go to next uh let's see well uh we should try to find phineas Maybe we can catch him on the way back from the Cabbage Patch, if that's a possible place that he went for lunch. Well, you guys are over here at Red. Oh, okay. So it's way past lunchtime now, I'm Mm -hmm. sure. Lunchtime is over. Is there another, well, are we headed to our other real estate opportunity? Uh, There's one behind us. Uh, Down below, it's on the outskirts of town. We could always check that out. We got nothing else going on. Yeah, six and one half a dozen the other. We got to wait until tomorrow for our our interviews. Yeah. All right. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. 
Okay. Uh, you guys go down there. This is what uh, is would normally be associated as a villa, Ooh. kind of a Roman villa. Nice. It overlooks the crops on the side of the hill here. Uh, it is in decent shape. Uh, the exterior uh, is kind of plasterish, only pockmarked plasterish, mm -hmm. stucco. Uh, and you see an individual wearing a red jacket and blue arms. Hideous. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, they are there. All right. We approach. He was just like, this is such a charming little villa. You are approached by a young toe-headed gnome. Uh, he looks to be about 12, uh, and he is just incessantly talking. He introduces himself as Johan Townsend, a uh, realtor for <laughs> Blue <Line. laughs> uh, And he is just full of energy, full of vim, full of vigor, and boy, he is just selling this out his ass. I mean, everything is just awesome. This is a great view. It's got a great cistern. Uh, the plumbing is excellent. It was freshly dug. Uh, the rooms are spacious. I mean, he is just woo, 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 woo. What do the bathrooms look like? There's just one. Just one? <laughs> and a just one. Mm -hmm. Well, one bathroom that you would call a bathroom there is a latrine for the servants well that's just rude it's still medieval times <laughs> uh but the latrine he points out is deep well deep very deep freshly dug very deep no so smell. there's no composting or anything <clears throat> uh, composting is for the plebeians thank you <laughs> so do you think you'd, you'd want this uh, as as he goes around and he takes the tour, it's got a nice veranda or terrace. Uh, it has an interior water feature, reflection nice. pond, if you will, uh, room for the servants. Uh, it's very nice. I can't remember. Uh, it was an old Phil Bar scenario. Uh, Lu Lucius, Villa of Lucius something. Veranda, maybe. Uh, <laughs> ni nice, nice place. Uh, you can already tell... <clears throat> going to be spicy it's going to be spicy on the price yeah, uh we, but we the rooms, them. yeah uh yeah, yeah. He, he's looking for eight eight, eight bills he calls it eight bills 800 800 uh, what uh gold oh okay uh but it does come with this first set of crops uh and there's a little a little creek in the back that separates your crop line from the next one uh and he really talks it up i mean he's very high end he, he is mr motivation uh and just happy what are I the mean, property and, taxes like what are property taxes no okay you um, mean annual ownership yeah that's okay it. sure oh yeah, uh, it is five percent Okay, five percent. Okay, so forty gold each year. Wow. Okay. Aren't you guys heroes? Well, maybe. Depend on who's asking. <laughs> well, there was a there was a tall man here earlier, uh, tall human, uh, spectacles. Uh, something uh mentioned the fact that uh two of his associates would be by probably to look at this uh michigan uh mendelin mortimer mortimer yes it was a mortimer person uh very nice very, very, smart. very smart very smart very smart very intelligent highly intelligent was he and interested that... in the property i'm sorry was he interested in the property uh, he was, especially the bedrooms. Of course he was. <laughs> slut. He and his, I think it was his fiance, maybe. Might have yeah. been. Uh, and what was her know. name? Uh, started with a G. Uh, Gal? Godot? Oh. I <laughs> I'm not sure. Something about that. Okay. okay. Tall Amazonian like woman. <laughs> no, actually short. She was a gnome. Ah. Wore a beautiful brown leather trench coat. Oh. oh. Interesting. 
interesting. Hmm. Okay. Gadget? Anyway. Oh, uh, I don't have any. Thank you. Uh, and bless you. Um, so, <laughs> 800 gold pieces, you know, pair of heroes. Uh, looking to start a nice little place here. Uh, this is a good starter facade. Uh, well, we're thinking about it. We may need to think about it for, well, for a little I, bit. I've got a lot of offers. I'm just saying. I, I understand. Be high I understand. Pressure, but, That's yeah, this, fine. It is a uh, nice place. It is yeah. really nice. As you guys are talking, uh, three people are quickly approaching. Uh, one right. of them is wearing a sandwich board. Oh, Lord. Let's get walking, out of here. Walking behind the other two. Are you a time traveler? <laughs> Have you recently been to another time? I got a tap tap. <laughs> the only thing he's not doing is doing the wave. Uh, but that is number 10. So okay. uh, you guys are finding him. Um but yes, the uh, couple is like, can we please go inside and discuss this? Uh, <laughs> Johan Townsend says, sure, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, we thank him for his time and all that. And I pulled Camille over. I said, Mortimer knew we would be here. I am suspecting he may have time traveled here to Nathan before. Uh, yeah. And that's how he's evading And us. that was my first instinct when I got so mad. <laughs> Uh, initially yeah and stomped off frank <laughs> i didn't say you were wrong uh, yes, you but, were right uh, oh now that's how you're in it. so much trouble and that's how he's avoiding us <laughs> you're in so much trouble maybe maybe not no you are in so much trouble <laughs> uh, i'm not saying you're right so i don't care you're in a lot of trouble yeah i mean the tip off was the the individuals that looked like him but him saying that we would be here yeah that yeah he's he's been here before <laughs> most assuredly he has been here before or at least now <laughs> see quantum physics thing yeah so Hopefully Ziggy can get him back in place. Yeah, I hope so. Whatever. <laughs> uh, while on the edge of town, both of you give me perception checks. Why should I? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, Ooh. that was a good roll. Um, I got an eight and a four. 21. Oh, uh, Zadar, you do not notice you are trying to evade the sandwich board individual, but Camille, you notice over dirigible farms, another balloon takes off, wafting to the east. All right, we're going to miss our ride. <laughs> I can see it coming. No, you can still see three other balloons there. Oh, okay. All right. You just notice that one of them is taken off. Maybe it's Brock Hardjaw, you don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. So, where would you like to go next? Uh, oh, I would imagine we should try to find Phineas. Okay, where do you want to check? Uh, where would you suggest, Camille? Well, we told his girlfriend to meet us at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll head what out. What time of day there. is it? Uh, mid afternoon, two ish. Oh, so yeah, he'd we got... still be at the thingy, the academy, or the library. Work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the third real estate opportunity, and where's it at? It is right over here by Dirigible Farms. Well, let's just go there. Okay, you guys head through town. You see Anthony Scarpacci, owner of Pizza Hut. Oh, friends, friends, I see you. Yeah, hi friends. Hello, yeah. hello. 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 Not seen you in a couple days, friends. Not seen you in a couple days. We've been very tired. We've been sleeping. I understand. The work of heroes never done. Never done. <laughs> you guys are you guys are super. Uh you guys uh cross over. You pass Deacon Jones, who <laughs> still does not <laughs> much care for you, head cleric of Nathan. Uh <laughs> goddess of the city of nathan is nathan uh as you get to the real estate area uh you notice red blue sleeves 
totally obnoxious, totally grotesque. Uh, this is a townhouse. Uh, the lady here is standing next to an individual who's just trying to mind his own business. Every once in a while, time travel. Time travel. <laughs> time travel. As you approach, she has finally had enough. and She's like, for the love of God, would you move somewhere else? Time travel. Uh, a couple of the guards clank their way through, inc including Colonel Clank, oh. and points out the individual I talked to you about has been spotted in this region. Keep an eye out, if you could, please. Okay. Uh, I tell him. Do we know that it's male? We do not. It could be a female. I suppose you are correct. Okay. It's not you, is it? <laughs> no. I had to ask. I would not <laughs> hurt you guys. That is true. Uh, ooh, two ones and a 14. Uh, as as <laughs> they clank away, uh, the lady, uh, big puffy red cheeks, a lot of rouge on there. Uh, she has what is called a perm. Uh, and nice. too much eye shadow. Uh, heavily, forever in our favor. Heavily makeup, yes. Uh, she asks if you are interested in this property. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. She introduces herself as Re, Re Max, uh, and uh, she goes over the details. It is going to be a reasonably priced townhouse. Uh, it is a duplex, though. Uh, she points out that the walls are fairly. Fairly sturdy. Uh, are they well insulated? I don't want to hear anything next door. Uh, well, we, you can go in and I can have the neighbors start shouting. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. You guys go into the townhouse. It is currently unfurnished. Uh, and you can hear her outside the door knocking. Uh, you hear the door open up with a squeak. Uh, you hear the faint yelling on the other side of the wall. So the wall seems to be fairly well insulated. Okay. It's pretty solid. That works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, it, it is a two bedroom. Uh, the bathroom is attached to the city sewer. Uh, yes. She's going over the details. So there's only uh, one bathroom. There's only one bathroom in the townhouse. What? 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 Why? Why are there not more than one bathrooms in a house? They haven't created pecs yet, so it's oh, not economically God. feasible. Come on. Uh, <laughs> this townhouse is only 400 gold pieces. Uh, it's in a good neighborhood, uh, not a very good school district. Blah, 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 blah. She's giving you the soft sell, but then a massive explosion is heard. Oh, and the, window, the windows in the townhouse shatter, covering you guys in glass. Uh, oh, crap. As this explosion occurs, mayhem is heard out on the street. There are people screaming and yelling. Something horrific has happened. Oh, the no manity. Oh, the, <laughs> exactly. Oh, the no manity. Um, so I guess we need to go out and look. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at it this way. It's it's catastrophe. It's already it's already had a catastrophe. Well, so. hey, look at this. The price will probably go down. Probably. <laughs> That's true. We might be uh, there, able to put in a second bathroom. Yeah. Uh, th there will be some ser significant repairs here uh, as there's there's a lot of damage here. Uh, as you go outside on the main street, Colonel Clank and his two associates go tearing past you, uh, headed towards dirigible farms okay. uh, as you look up you see a big plume of black smoke um uh, yeah we, we follow <laughs> uh you guys are there as, as you cut through the alley let's go ahead and give you a visual here as you cut through the alley uh the whole region is covered in black smoke mm. these these buildings have all suffered rather significant damage uh these two are on fire the black plume of smoke is originating over dirigible farms uh as you tear across the area uh, <coughs> uh a lot of smoke a lot of a lot of 
screaming, a lot of yelling. People are coming out of these burning buildings. Uh, there has been a huge problem. Uh, Colonel Clank and his two associates are there. This entire section of dirigible farms has been blown out. Well, that's not good. Uh, those three balloons that you saw, mm -hmm. not there anymore. Wow. Uh, investigation checks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, that's shitty. Uh, uh, 2022. 20, okay. Camille? Uh, I'm looking. Twelve. Uh, you see Brock Hardjaw <gasps> and Hente Tweed also making a beeline towards Dirigible Farms. Zidar notices a short individual uh -oh. in a brown trench coat running from the two burning buildings north. Tackle uh, that person. Uh, yeah, Zadar Misty Step uh, runs thirty feet. And Misty Step says <laughs> my bonus action. Okay, uh, they are three hundred feet away. Oh so, crap! Oh, okay, I thought yeah. I thought are, we were like right on them. Okay. Nope, you you guys are right here. You see this, and they are headed this way. Uh, so Camille, you may continue on. Uh, with Colonel Clank, or you can pursue with uh, Zadar. Yeah, I'm going with Zadar. Okay. Uh, Colonel Clank and his two associates, along with Brock, Hardjaw, and Hente, head towards Dirigible Farms, which is currently burning. Uh, you guys head across the way. This area is a big open spot. Uh, it, it doesn't have high grasses. Uh, it's used as a field for the sheep and goats. Uh, okay. So the grass is low. You can clearly see that you are chasing a gnome in a brown leather coat. Okay. You cannot tell the sex because they are running. Uh, you have currently gone 60 out of 300 feet. Okay. Um, and I, I burned two uh, spell slots and cast expeditious retreat on us both. <laughs> So you're retreating? No, expeditious retreat means you uh, increase your speed if you read the spell. Uh, I don't know why they call it that, but it increases your, your movement speed by double. Do you have to, is that a range spell or do you have to touch her because she's 30 feet behind? Oh yeah, that's right. She wasn't with me. Damn it. <laughs> you can wait, uh, but the individual is running. Uh, okay. Uh, Damn it! I hate to to leave her behind, but uh, I'm gonna cast it and and go after it. <laughs> His uh, Camille, catch up. Okay. <laughs> so, what uh, speed can you go? Okay, I'm looking. At, I'm sorry. With the map, I couldn't get to my screen. Uh, let's see. Expeditious retreat. Uh, let's see. Okay, expeditious. Retreat. The spell allows you to move at an incredible pace. Uh, when you cast the spell, and then as a bonus action on each of your turn uh, until the spell ends, it lasts. It lasts ten minutes. Uh, you can take a. You can take the dash action. So. So you will go sixty feet each turn. Right. Okay. So. Ten minutes. <laughs> so. So, round one. You are 60 out of 300. Uh, are you 30 or 35, Camille? What? Speed. Uh, or are you 25? I'm thinking she might be 25. Where do I find that out? Uh, I can't remember on those sheets. Uh, features and traits, I think. Down low, right, maybe? Yeah, I think uh, no. I know I used to have her Rach she racial trait, trait, racial traits. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, that. <laughs> wow! Oh man! 
Uh, character Beavers, sheets. Ritual. Murder hobo. Camille. Eighth level. Camille's movement is. Uh, 25 foot center top. <laughs> you did it Bye. too. <laughs> y'all, y'all get around 25 feet. <laughs> and and your, your, your mic craps out too. <laughs> uh, y'all gonna run for 25 feet. <laughs> so, uh, good news, bad news. Uh, round one ends with 25 out of 300. Round two is 325 to 90 or no 120 uh camille's at 50 325 325 is this individual is running away also at 25 feet uh round three uh 180 to 350 so you are closing in on spell range. 75 and 350. Round four is going to be the deal breaker because you will be at 240. They will be at 375. Camille is covered 100 out of 375. Uh, you are... 135 feet away. You want to keep running? Uh, 135 feet away? Mm-hmm. I've got nothing. <laughs> She's not in spell range. I think uh, 120 feet's the closest that I have. And why would I want to shoot at this person? Because, <laughs> you know, they're just a person of interest. You know, I, I don't know for shoot sure. Shoot her! Can... <laughs> shoot her! Shoot her now. Shoot her uh, now. Round five, you are at the 300 foot mark. Mm -hmm. They are at the 400 foot mark. Uh, Camille is at the 125 mark. Okay. Uh, I am a disappointment. <laughs> now, perception check, both of you. Okay. Or actually, you know what? D12, both of you against me. Two. You got Seven. one. Zadar is laser focused on the ass of this individual and just full tilt. Camille, with your intelligence, uh, you see goats and sheep around here. They probably move faster than you do. Goats and sheep move faster than me? Mm -hmm. What the hell? When they're scared. <sighs> Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Can you outrun a goat or a sheep? <laughs> well, I've never the point, tried. The, the point is, if you want, you can try you to can, mount one. <laughs> you can try and mount one with your animal handling, and if so, I will double your movement rate. Let's do that. Uh, do you want a sheep or a goat? I want a what? goat. You want a goat? I was gonna say. <laughs> Give, give me your animal handling roll, and I have to roll for what they are. Wow. What's your animal handling? I'm looking. Oh, plus two. I got 18. You successfully mount the goat and grab the horns. The goat is not happy and sprints off, uh, leaving you with a death grip on it. You now move at twice your movement rate to 50. Uh, Zadar, round six. You are now at 360. They are at 425. And Camille whom you do not know, is at 175. Continue on. Yeah. They're ready to reach the building line. Round seven. We're in hot pursuit. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, 420 to 
four fifty. Uh two twenty five four fifty. Let me roll morale for the individual. Fuck this shit. They turn around and all three of you roll initiative. <laughs> I finally suck the wind out of her. <laughs> all right. Fifteen. Uh, 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 12. Uh, the individual spins around and true as nails, it is a female. And it takes aim at Zadar. Oh, <laughs> you're going to get hit. Uh, 17 plus 7 is 24. A bolt of fire comes out and okay. goes directly at you uh uncanny dodge to try to <laughs> have that shit okay. you better uncanny dodge it oh yeah <laughs> that's what i'm thinking my my role was 24 total oh wow okay yeah it's my reaction so when an attacker you can see uh sorry uh Hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to uh, have the attack's damage. So, so what? Uh, my my AC is seventeen. So if it hits, it hits. Twenty four. Seventeen yeah. plus seven. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, you take eleven hit points of fire damage right in the oh, chest. Okay. Uh, good, good, uh, Camille is charging hard on Sir Goat. <laughs> Uh, Sir Goat. Sir Goat. Uh, she had a 15, which would have put her before me. She is not in range of shit. Zadar, your turn. Okay, magic missile. All right, bitch, it's on. <laughs> like Donkey Kong. So, yeah, so uh, four magic missiles because I'm going to upcast it. <laughs> Okay. That's what the bitch gets for throwing fire at me. <laughs> I, I was going to say, if you only did four hit points, you're going to need a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me roll some dice. Okay. Three. Uh. Uh, 12 points of force damage. I think that's right. No, 11 points for force damage. Fair enough. New round. Uh, you guys are within 30 feet. You may close if you want, but I, I'm just going to leave that alone. She's not going to move. So she's at the 450 mark. Round eight. She's 450. I'm just marking you down as negligible. Uh, 275. So you've cut the distance in half as you charge forward on your mighty steed, Sir Goats a lot. Uh, <laughs> she reaches into a bag and flings three items into the air. They are metal. Uh, and as they come through the air, these metal balls start moving like oh, crap. spiders. Uh, and they are headed for you. Your turn. Uh, Zadar or Camille? You, because Camille's still coming. Okay. All right. Uh, magic missile again to the spiders. So three okay. three spiders, three darts. Mm -hmm. okay. Get it. Camille, give me an animal handling. Okay. Five, five, and five. Uh, 15. Mm -hmm. What's your animal handling? Uh, plus one, so six. <laughs> yeah, you are alone with Sir Goats a lot. He did not call for reinforcements to bring the horde coming down. Round nine. Um, oh, that was, you were shooting at the three metal spiders, right? Okay, yeah, the gotcha. spiders. So yeah, she's okay. Got it. Round nine. Uh, 
You are within 125 feet, Camille. So if you have anything that can do 150 on range, feel free. Uh, here comes another firebolt, and the spiders will each attack. Okay. So the firebolt, ugh, three plus seven, swing and a miss. Uh, the spiders each take one foot, 11, uh, three, and 11. Uh, 13 doesn't hit you, right? Uh, the spiders are trying to attack your boots. Uh, you're dodging. She's getting the fire bolts out of the way. Uh, you might be able to hear Camille coming, uh, or you might think that there's a rhino coming in behind you. Yeah. She's hot and heavy. Uh, you're up, Zadar. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, how She's uh, within 120 feet of me. Uh, oh, yeah. So, she's oh, within yeah. 30 feet of you. Okay. Uh, here, how about a little fire scarecrow? <laughs> fire, fire bolt at her. Sure. Uh, 16 to hit. I think, uh, yes, that, yes, yeah, 16 hits. Okay. And uh, I hit her now, for. All three of those spiders are still intact. Right. I can't trip. I'm just hur hurling it towards her. Yep. Uh, uh, total of 18 points damage from the firebolt. Got it. Uh, new round. Uh, Camille, yes. you are now within 75 feet. Um, I cast Thunder Wave. Her Pulse Wave. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's the save on that one? I don't know. I can't see. Uh, I'm checking right now. If I got to do a dex save. It's, you do. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna invoke evasion. <laughs> uh, coming from behind you. <laughs> I think uh, evasion would still apply. Mm, I don't know. If I don't know. You, you don't know just... what's coming. I'll be right back. I don't think, oh man, too bad I'm not an assassin. Assassins have danger sense or something like that. So, no, that's blind sense. Sorry. Camille, pulse wave is not within range. You want to do thunder wave? Uh, let me check. Thunder. I do like this app, but Thunder Wave. I don't think Thunder Wave is going to be in range 15. No, nope, she can do Magic Missile, though. Uh, do you want to upcast it for her as well? Is it R? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm rolling for Camille. Yeah. Uh, sure. Send, send four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll upcast it for her. Okay. You need me to roll? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Only if you want to do the damage. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, but, but, let me get to my magic missile. Okay. That's just okay. four, four plus four. Four, four, three, and four. Got it. Uh, the spiders will attack you. Okay. Ooh, 19 on the die. Ooh, that hits. 16 on the die. That misses. Uh, on the die. So 18. 16. Oh. Uh, so 21, 18, and 11. Uh, the 11 misses, but the other two hit. Two dexterity checks. Okay. Uh, evasion. <laughs> Uh, so I think that just gives me advantage on on the on deck saves. Probably. Let me check real quick. Uh, you used magic missile, by the way, because you only got in the range of pulse wave. Oh, 
Okay, if I succeed on a saving ro- uh, throw, I take no damage, and Wait, if can I you fail... Do it for one? Probably only one. How many series of... Two of the spiders hit, and uh, Gadget has not gone yet. Okay. Uh, just tell me what I got to make a deck save on, basically, and say if I... If I beat one of the deck saves, I'll take Suffer more no damage. damage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll. I'm trying to find her spell DC. Okay. Been a while since I've had to look around on these. Okay. Uh, 17 is my deck save. 17 passes. Uh, now make a deck save for the other one. Uh, yeah, the other one's going to hit. That's, uh, uh, two plus, uh, four, so six. So, but, uh, with, if I can evade that, I'll only take half. No, the evasion was the first one. First one. Okay. I only get it on one. Okay. The problem's not the damage. The problem is your foot, your boot now has a hole in it as the spider has spiked you into the ground. Oh, you, you take two hit points of damage total from it. You take mm-hmm. no damage from the other one. Uh, but your movement is hampered. Uh, you are not uh, caught up, but any deck saves are going to be a disadvantage okay. until you can pull it free. She will tackle loudly. Uh, I'm going to go odd even on this one <laughs> and disappears. Oh, okay. Uh, you know about where she was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I am going to, if it's my turn, I, I'm sure Camille is coming up uh, no, I, on this round. To free myself, I'm going to Misty Step. <laughs> huh? You know, that should get me out of being spiked. But I'm still going to have the damage, but, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Uh, I'll Misty Step and then use my movement to close to where she was. Okay. All right. That's fair. Uh, new round. Oh, wow. Uh do you want to stay on the goat, Camille, or jump off? You are now five feet behind uh, Zadar. I'll jump off. Dexterity check. Twenty. Jump off. Somersault into the midair. Land on your feet. Boom. Just as the goat falls exhausted, not dead, not <laughs> exhausted. Uh, Camille, she was right there a second ago. You don't know where she is. To make matters worse, a bunch of people are flooded this way because you guys are running away from dirigible farms. They are running towards dirigible farms. Cancel the round. You're equal because there's no combat. Both of you roll investigation. Twenty. At twenty, with my investigation, twenty-seven. Both of you notice two people running towards you, but get knocked to the side. Oh shit! Okay, at least by, we un- by unseen forces. You also notice this area has been eaten down and it's all mud. Wait, okay. So we got pushed aside by the crowd or just something? Two two people running towards you got pushed to the side. Oh, okay. All right. Insight checks, both of you. And you said it's muddy? It's muddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the rainy season. Yeah. 
I'm looking uh, for little gnomish footprints. Okay. Uh, investigation. Insight. Oh, insight. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, 16. 16. Seventeen. Uh, both of you surmise that the two individuals running this way got knocked asunder by your invisible quarry. Uh, Zadar with a natural twenty will also notice the footsteps making their way around the block, kind of where uh, Remax is going to be. So as the people start to move through, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can give chase uh, and keep an eye out uh, as you round the corner. Uh, this area has dirt streets, something on the townhouse map you notice. They are currently building, uh, but you guys both see footsteps moving through the mud as the people are tending to the damaged areas and things that are on I fire. Web. Boot steps. We see boot steps, boot steps, boot steps. Uh, <laughs> you cast web. Uh, D12 against me. Oh, no. You cast web. Uh, just as you do, you notice the invisibility spell is worn off. She is on the other side of the web. And it whoop, is across your path. Zadar, what would you like to do? Shoot fire, goddammit. <laughs> I am. It's just like, how, how far away is she from me? Uh, she's maybe 30 feet away. Oh, yeah. Because she only runs 25. You are still speedy, mm -hmm. and she and uh, Camille will be at the same pace. You, however, will be closing. Okay, you're my. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> did you see The Witcher this year? <laughs> burn, butcher, burn. Yeah, so, sure. right where she's standing, create bonfire. Poof. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, eight points, flame damage. Poof. Sure. She has a hot foot and continues to run. However, since she has taken damage, she is now visible on the other side of the web that spans the street. <laughs> <laughs> New round, Camille, uh, you still have uh, initiative. So what do you want to do? Can I drop the web? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I'll, I'll have to burn then it. Then you burn so. through it? Yeah, I can. Uh, no, not no. the bonfire where she was at. So she you was. I, sh I should have just, yeah, I wasn't thinking, and I should have. I thought she was like, it, it was enough space, but it's only a five-foot area. So, so uh, Camille, also roll a D8. Three. There are three people caught in the web. Eh. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't burn the web now with them in it. <laughs> well, they're on either side, so you can still burn out the middle. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. I'll burn out the middle. I hit the middle with a fire bolt. Okay. Uh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. She takes off. She's going to shoot a fire bolt at one of you. Odd, Camille, even Zadar. It's a four. Uh, she will shoot the firebolt at you. 12 plus 7, 19. 19 hits, but uncanny dodge, because I saw that coming. <laughs> uh, what's your roll? Uh, deck save. Uh, yep. Let's see. I, yeah, I do not pass it. <laughs> uh, you take seven hit points of fire damage. Okay, so, all right, all right. Fair, fair. Fair uh, however, you have burnt a hole in it. You two can begin chasing again. Mm -hmm. uh, you are all in melee range. Well, 30-ish feet. Camille, you're up. This is round 13. How many uh, web-level spells you have there, Spidey? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Well, she now is in range of Pulse Wave, but not Thunder Wave. Well, let's do that then. 
Give me an insight check. Oh. <laughs> oh. See where Zadar is. <laughs> Is it a cone or is it a line? A globe. It's a globe. It is. I think. Uh, it's a cone, I, isn't it? I think David just froze. <laughs> it is a sixteen. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be so pissed if he misses the rest of the game. And I got the screenshot. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shit. Uh, 16. You, uh, your insight tells you that you may inflict some damage to the buildings and or any people around. I don't care. Fair enough. Uh, give me a D8. Seven. Seven people are going to have to make saving throws, including her. And that is how Zadar died. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Sorry, my internet went out for, <laughs> for a moment. Oh, no, I, I got the screenshot. Here's the story. Uh, in your absence, she has fired off Thunder Wave. There are seven civilians that are going to have to make saving throws, not including uh, Gadget. So here come the damage. Uh, oh, no. oh. First, her. She's going to save. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not a good thing. Uh, uh, using the arcane art, Camille thrusts forward her pulse wave. Wah, 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 wah. Patoosh, patoo, centered, patoo. centered on gadget. Uh, six d6 damage here three murder hobos uh 18 20 25 hit points of damage she takes half uh which is 12 which puts her at 64 and she had 58 uh gadget is going to implode so are five civilians. <laughs> so five civilians are dead. Three are caught in a web. And Gadget is dead and down. Well, there goes our hero status. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Camille, roll a d10. Uh, seven. Oh, and you know what? For fun, one of them was Remax. <laughs> wow. Okay. At least it wasn't your goat. Nine. There are nine witnesses. <laughs> so. Uh, I was trying to be the good guy. Camille, roll 5d20. Zadar, roll 4d20. No bonuses on this. Okay, your mic. <laughs> so straight up d20, no bonuses. Five for Camille, four for Zadar. Insight. Okay. <laughs> oh, you live long enough to see the hero become the villain. 23. No, no, no. I, I need five individual rolls. Oh. Oh, 18. okay. Um, and, and just straight up rolls. They don't get bonuses. These are normal folks. 
Would I be jinking myself if I used a blood spatter D20? <laughs> At least I didn't have percentage roll. <laughs> okay. So how many do I roll? Four? You roll four, she rolls five. 18, 18, 9, 15, <laughs> oh, man. 7. Okay. No shit. I got a nat 20 on one, 17 on another. And all this is going to be negative. I know it because I know you, Frank. Yep. Uh, 10 and a 5. <laughs> so 2. 5 of the witnesses know what happened <laughs> well that's a good thing yeah we'll see we'll see how that plays out uh there is a dead flattened dehydrated body in the center wearing a brown leather trench coat darn uh okay i have an idea <laughs> I don't know how to work it. We have a time traveling medallion. Mm -hmm. We can back step. Okay. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> this I did not see coming. <laughs> okay, let's do that. We're going to try it. <laughs> You're going to need a third person. Oh, crap. Okay. Why do so, we need a third person? Triangle. Mm -hmm. Bitch. That's our. That's 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 okay. That's the way, that's the way it's been. So let's the, just grab somebody. I'm. Or, do they have to know what we're doing, or just someone just to complete the the you, circuit? You, you guys didn't know what the fuck you were doing, so all they have to do is complete the circuit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you have to use the chain to make the triangle, mm -hmm. touch the amulet to the chain. Okay. Uh, it, all right. How many witnesses are there? Uh, five that saw what happened, nine overall. Okay. Uh wow this one of the time travel one of the um did not see this coming at yeah, all yeah i say um uh i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna have to do some kind of convincing role or whatever uh like on, on somebody oh, shit, um, no, a we persuasion just have to grab them and just do our shit <laughs> Okay. If you don't want this to happen to you, you'll do what we say. I'll, I'll, I'll point to one of the the ones that don't know what happened. Quick, we need assistance. She needs assistance. You know, like some tragedy just happened and, you know. Female. Okay. How can I help? And I Grab my <laughs> hand if you want to Take live. our hands. Grab my hand. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Okay. And we're going to try to time travel. We're going to back step. Wow. Holy shit. You don't even have Spock with you. <laughs> nope. And man, it is getting close to ending time too. Oh my God. This is going to be an awesome cliffhanger. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tell me, Zadar, since you're holding the amulet, mm -hmm. how far back are you going? To Coop's. With Earl of Sandwich. So three hours. Yes. I wasn't going to do anything crazy like three days or anything like that. So Sure. Give me a survival roll. Okay. Or, you know what? Fuck it. Survival roll. <laughs> okay. I had to do performance just to piss off all the other players, but survival roll. No shit. Natural 20. Very nice. Plus two, 22. <laughs> you correctly call down the Tempest gods and poof. Now, 
how, how much did I say? Three hours? Yeah, three hours. D6 roll. Okay. Now keep in mind one thing. You're going to see yourself. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, four. You appear outside of Coops and hear time travel. Hey, how about time travel? How about time travel? How about time travel? Hey, you. Hey, time travel. Time travel. Perception check, both of you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, four. Perception fourteen fifteen what fourteen plus fourteen plus eight so both of you see yourselves going into hoops holy shit it's just like okay great scott we do not interact with them no. <laughs> and at home uh what a great place to end Sadar throws up up her her cow her cow and changes appearance so nobody okay can see so and we'll leave it at that i'll have to choose a new appearance wow gutsy move and the roles were with you uh, <laughs> i don't know what'd you think dave i loved it that ending was amazing and camille with that pulse wave i was like oh my god <laughs> to totally unscripted and I, I didn't have to roll any fucking dice, so we know. No, about I, I went dead. I thought everything was going to be okay when I when uh, my internet disconnected. You know, I was hoping to get back in time, and then you joke around. Oh, it's about back in time. <laughs> okay, shake shake your 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 mic. Okay. Yeah, so, you uh, you went back in time, all right. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So and then there's the carnage, and I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, what you do from here on out is going to be very precarious. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> so, but I assume you had fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was a blast. <laughs> Carrie, no pun what, intended. <laughs> Carrie, what'd you think? Well, good news. In about an hour, you're going to have a shot at it. <laughs> but it turns yeah. out we were the couple that were going that was going to check out the villa <laughs> or you decided to take the form of mortimer j sneed and you told uh johan townsend these two are coming here <laughs> yeah <laughs> so there's there is a there is a lot of possibilities here <laughs> and, and again these two players caught me completely flat-footed no way did i ever expect them to use it uh the good news is you didn't fuck up that survival role because <laughs> i i didn't i didn't i didn't tell you to i was i'm out. trying to save us i did not tell him to do time travel <laughs> uh, i didn't even think that he would do time travel uh Oh. <laughs> unless, uh, unless he, I, I've admi I've admitted it before. Yeah. You know what? But I'm waiting for David to take the form of Mortimer J. Sneed. I have to decide on that. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, for those of you waiting for Critical Role, you're welcome. We always try and end it at 10. Uh, don't forget, follow yeah. us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about DD. Join our Discord if you want to buy our cool stuff like phone case or shower curtain duvet cover. Uh, the link is down there. Uh, most importantly, if you would like to be on a show, this Saturday is a one shot. Tuesdays are. Uh, usually open about half open uh for our talk show m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will try and get you on if you're in the market for some cool dice uh like big red two here go over to twitter hit up at pirate dog dice see if they got time see if they can do it for you uh if they can great if not well you just have to wait and if your game stinks unlike ours well ours was a big steaming pile tonight uh hey. go over to oddfishgames.com they have 
Yeah, they have uh, something called Adventure Sense, 60 different Adventure Sense, not including the holiday ones, uh, to help your in-game experience along. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, check out their Shine System. Uh, and folks, who did not see this one coming at all. Great Scott. Kiss and wave, everybody. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>